Hi guys, Mark here with Walters World, and we're in Madera Canyon outside of Tucson, Arizona. We have a great road trip through America. We came through Route 66, we're in the northern part of Arizona, we drove down here. And we want to give you guys our 10 things you need to have in the car when you go on a road trip. Because a lot of people just say, hey, let's just jump in the car and go. Well, there's kind of 10 things that will really make your trip a little bit easier and you're going to get a lot more out of it. Now, the first thing you're going to need is either your GPS navigator or if you have GPS on your mobile phone. These are two things you're really going to use because when you're driving around, you will get lost. You might not know where you are and all kinds of things. And these are two of these great inventions that have come out in the last 10, 20 years that really do make a big difference. So you can find where the restaurants are, where the hotels are, your way to get back onto the highway and all these kind of things. Get information on little sites next to the towns and stuff like that. Now, having these, these great modern devices, what happens is people put them in their car and they only have the plug for at home. And that leads us to the second thing you want to make sure you bring on the trip. And the second things you want to bring are the plugs. Now, you want to have your normal plug, plug in, but get the USB one because now you can get all these USB plugs for your cars to charge your iPad or your iPhone or your smartphone or your Garmin or TomTom Tom or whatever it's called. Make sure you have these because if you're driving a long way, if you're playing on your iPad or your phone, you will eat up the battery. Okay, so having these little plugs you can get at a, you know, a supermarket or a pharmacy, they sell them all over the place, that you can plug into the, the cigarette outlet or the charger or whatever in your car will make a big difference, okay? Now these are electronic gadgets that makes things better, but the thing is guys, when you're doing a road trip, and I found this in Arizona, you're not going to get your 3G, 4G LTE service everywhere. Yes, maybe your GPS box like a TomTom -Tom, will come because it's satellite, but your phone probably won't work everywhere. So you know what you need to bring? That's number three, an actual map. Yes, an actual map. A map of Arizona that tells you where things are. So in case your battery dies or there's no signal, you can look on here and find the way there, okay? That's why I always recommend getting a AAA membership so you can get great maps for every city or state or wherever you're gonna go, countries. They have all kinds of great stuff. And if you don't wanna go get the maps, well, you know what? When you have those Google directions or MapQuest directions and things like that, Print them out before you go so you have them, just in case, so you can look it up. Because sometimes, you know, when you go back online, it erases what you've searched and stuff like that. So you want to be careful. So number three, actual maps of the places you're going to go. Believe me, guys, the best five bucks, or if you're AAA, they're free things you're going to do. I know the state of Arizona, they actually sent me a guidebook and a map for coming here. So just asking for some help. Now, the fourth thing you're going to have is a guidebook. Now, I know some people say, oh, it's a road trip. I don't want to be stuck to a guide. But you know what, guys? You won't realize things are there. Like, I almost missed Meteor Crater, Crater on Route 66 because I didn't look in the book. I looked in books. Oh, my God, there's Meteor Crater out there by Flagstaff. We've got to stop there. Oh, let's go into Williams and take the train up to the Grand Canyon. Having these guidebooks for the place you're going to do your road trip can give you the background and also give you those secret places you're really going to enjoy when you do travel. So make sure you do check those out and pick up a book where you're going to go so you can see the right places and make sure you stay in the right hotels. Because yes, you can always stay in a Holiday Inn Express and that's fine. But don't you, if you're on Route 66, don't you want to get one of the more you know historic places on there and a guidebook can really help on your road trip. The fifth thing you want to have when you're on your road trip is a bottle of water or multiple bottles of water. Now I know we always like to have like Coke and soda and things like that, but your best bet is keep the water around have a few bottles to take with you in the car because you can always drink it if someone gets hot you can have it you pour it on them things like that i know when we have kids they always get really sticky it's good to have some water to clean them up with because you know apple juice and milk not really good at cleaning the hands okay so water always a good thing to drink and you want to have that and that leads us into number six make sure you bring some snacks when you are on the road trip because pulling off all the time and going to the mcdonald's or the restaurants can really eat up your budget and having snacks and i recommend having dry snacks having nuts or granola bars things like that work a lot better because one you eat them with water it goes really well keeps it move things moving but also if you're gonna bring chocolate or puppy chow or all these other things it melts it gets sticky and when you're driving a lot you just don't want to get sticky you get really gross so have some dry snacks so that's number six number seven on our list is a blanket or two okay because the thing is if you're tired and someone's sleeping in the back they can use the blanket for a pillow and you know when you drive around and you're on a road trip someone's hot someone's cold someone's not happy okay so that blanket that can keep the one person that's too cold warm enough and all kinds of stuff so having a blanket makes a difference number eight on our list is having a first aid kit now most people don't ever think about this and in some countries you're required to have it in your car but here in the U.S. it's not. So make sure you have that first aid kit because you never know when you're going to slam your fingers in the door. 
I've done that. Or rolled up your fingers in the window. Um, I've done that too. Have that first aid kit because you never know. And why run to a doctor's office when you don't need to on a road trip? So having that there is great. Number nine on our list is actually having that emergency kit in your car. So you have your jumper cables, you know, your spare tire stuff, your wrenches, all those things. Have that in your car. Um, they can be a bit pricey to get them, but just having the peace of mind when you are going, if your car does break down, you have to flag somebody down, you already have the equipment. And the tenth thing you need to have on a road trip is... And number ten, the cool fair thing. So, I hope that helps you, give you guys ten things you might need to make a better road trip. So don't forget to pack those in your bag, or in your car, or wherever you're heading off to. Um, if you want any more advice on traveling, road tripping, or car tripping, or or train tripping through Europe or whatever, check us out at our website at www.waldersworld.com. And we're also on Facebook and Twitter, and you know what? We really appreciate what people like and favor our videos, and if you subscribe, we'd really appreciate it. So have a great time, and bye from Madera Canyon in Arizona in the U.S., just south of Tucson. Really beautiful place to check out on your next road trip. Bye.